Hello, this is my um, system test one of my wall system. The wall system. Um, it's the MS4 system. Um, well, it's all normal because I'm in Apple. Batteries are in that case down there. It's going to be testing. I have my BG12. That's on one. My T bar. I, I, that's a um, 1P. I forget what the model. I'll show you later. What the model number is that? So zone 1. Zone 2 has two Y3 smoke detectors. And they even blink. Um, zone 3 has a CO2 detector. And also a smoke and seal. Carbon monoxide. And the seal is linked to carbon monoxide. It blinks too. Um, so yeah. On my neck, I that's a mounting plate for wheel FHS. I don't have it up right now. That is an alert speaker strobe that I took the speaker out of because there's no, nothing in there. Here is a special or advanced mini horn. I think it's the P2R mini horn. That is a special or advanced. I forget exactly what that is. Uh, I think that, yeah, I think that is. So yeah, let's test zone one. Let's do BG12 first. Using a custom key, not like the normal BG12 keys. It came with a hex lock. I put my own lock in there, so that's same with the um, battery box. It came with no lock, and I put that lock is the exact same type of lock as that one. But they do take two, two separate keys. Yeah, I have to reset it. Oh, my enunciator. Mm -hmm. The peas are you can probably hear it. And the worm and supervisory. I would do trouble since I have the knack fault. It would be, but do, since I have the trouble, um, it would always be on. I don't really want it always to be on, so I made a supervisory. I'm using the supervisory relay and the trouble relay. And the um, solar power, non resettable. Actually, I'm using, I'm using reset all power. I'm going to the CO2 and then from that, I'm going to the so yeah, let's do T ball now. Three, two, one. Silence that. And then now I can show you what the model is of this. That's not the model right there. The model it's made by RSG. Um, RMS-1P. Yeah, it's RMS-1P, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must be. There's no label on the floor, sadly. I have a semi-flush mount, I think. So, yeah. I don't think I reset it. Zone 2. Oh, I'm just gonna do one. One of these. Two. Zone three. I'm not gonna test that. That you can set it off, reset it, and then it'll be fine. And then middle later it'll go off again. So I'm gonna test that one. Okay, now let's test this, and then I might test another. Actually, I'm going to do the over I3. And I think after that, 
I'm going to do the other after this. Smoke. I didn't smoke on that one. I'll use the smoke. Smoke. Let's see this one. Sadly, I wired this one different, so it's not supervised. This one's not supervised, so if I take this one out. I have an extra pair of wires going up there for some reason, but it won't get the trouble on this one, too. You wire so that wire it so that it will be supervised. This one is. I don't know why the other one is. Not. So yeah, then I'll do a quick battery test. Oh, yeah, for the supervisory. I don't have anything. I'm no pulse or anything on zone four. So if you activate it. With the key thing. Activate the supervisory. Okay. And if we reset that back here, our new turn breaker off for the panel. And then 